Thank you for the opportunity to present our work. I have no disclosures. Now, I don't have to tell the audience here the burden of injuries and death that occurs due to firearms in the United States. And firearm-related injuries are now the leading cause of death among children and adolescents in the United States. Exposure to violence, particularly firearm-related violence, is prevalent in children and adolescents. And exposure to this has far-reaching implications that extend beyond physical harm, and these impart psychological and emotional harm as well to the children who experience it. And this, has some, this is something that is disproportionately uh, affects minority and disadvantaged populations. In order to uh, better understand um, firearm-related violence in our city, we sought to describe, design a study so as to better understand the trends of firearm discharges and the geographic relationship between where they occur and the schools and daycare centers that children attend in the city of Hartford. Using geocoding methodology, firearm discharges that were detected using shot spotter technology were captured from 2017 to 2020. These data were aggregated into 49 census tracts that were predetermined, and locations of schools and daycares within each census tracts were superimposed onto maps quantifying all of the recorded firearm discharges. Now, for those who may not be familiar, ShotSpotter is an acoustic firearm de discharge uh, detection system, and it utilizes proprietary technology and acoustic sensors that detect, localize, and alert firearm discharges to law enforcement. The time from event to digital alert and to localization is about 45 seconds, and according to the manufacturer, there is a 97% aggregate accuracy rate with less than 0.5% false positive rate. The unique thing about Hartford, Connecticut is that since 2016, the entire city has been covered by ShotSpotter. Now to provide you more context about Hartford, it's a relatively small urban city with a population of a little bit over 120,000 uh, people, of which children aged 18 or younger make up a little over 20% of the population. These are the census tracts in Hartford with the associated population densities, along with the rates and distribution of where minority populations and areas of low-income individuals reside in the city. Now for the abstract, um, we only provided data for uh, up to 2020, but in this slide, uh, we actually, prior to this presentation, received uh, the data set for 2021, so I've included it here as well. And to also clarify and to give you guys context with how to interpret the data, we uh, defined a firearm discharge event as a single firearm that was discharged. However, it's important to note that during a discharge event, sometimes multiple rounds are fired. And I will share data on this on the next slide. However, what we're going to be looking at here will be in an individual firearm that was discharged regardless of whether one bullet was fired or if 10 bullets were fired. To orient you to this slide on the top panel here, um, what you can see is the aggregated annual firearm discharges from 2017 to 2021. And as you can see, there has been a statistically significant and sustained increase in firearm discharges over the years, and with more than a doubling between 2017 and 2021. What's interesting is that there are several census tracts that are sustained hotspots where there's a consistently high confidence of recorded firearm discharges. The bottom panel here demonstrates the monthly trend um, with the study years that were included, where you can see, again, the relative sustained increase in firearm discharges. In conclusion, we found that 20, between 2017 and 2020, there was a total of uh, 5,143 firearms that were discharged and a total of 18, a little bit over 18,000 rounds that were fired during the study period. Now, in those census tracts where there was a consistently high confidence of recorded firearm discharges, there are three schools that serve a little under 1,000 students, highlighting the impact the fire, firearm violence may have on children in Hartford, Connecticut. It's important to note that there are several limitations to our data, including some notably with ShotSpotter technology um, related to privacy, but most importantly that ShotSpotter is disproportionately used in urban areas and in communities with color. Um, in conclusion, uh, data obtained from ShotSpotter can be used in conjunction with geocoding methodology to understand locations within a community where firearm discharges occur. We found that there was a significant and sustained increase in firearm discharges in Hartford, Connecticut, especially during the pandemic. And there was a significant overlap between firearm discharges and where children attend school, highlighting the exposure of firearm violence of children in Hartford. 
In terms of um, just what the future directions for the study is, this is an evolving collaboration that our Division and Injury Prevention Center have with the University of Connecticut Geography Department, where we're now working to understand communities in Hartford that are more um, likely to experience firearm-related violence. These are just some data that we've superimposed aspects of the social vulnerability index between firearm discharges that occurred between 2019 and 2020. As you can see, the highest rates of firearm discharges have occurred in census tracts where there is the lowest per capita income, highest minority populations, and there is the highest percentage of single parent households. We see this as an opportunity for community outreach and to create hospital-based injury prevention programs that may help mitigate the physical and emotional harm that is related to firearm misuse. Again, thank you for this opportunity to present and I welcome any questions.